Hi guys, I'm I'm the la. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm recording this particular video blog from a classroom at the University of Notre Dame where I am in my second and final year of the MFA program in creative writing. You can probably guess that it is a classroom at a Catholic school because of the crucifix on the wall behind me. We have crucifixes. I wanted to say crucify, but that's in no way correct. We have crucifixes in every single classroom here at Notre Dame. And actually that makes me happy for a reason that I will get into later. It's not a reason that Notre Dame itself would approve of, but you know, you take what you can get. I've been avoiding doing another video blog because I haven't been getting a lot of sleep and I sort of feel like it looks like I've been punched in the face, but I think this is just going to be an increasing problem over the course of the year and I'm not exactly going to start looking better, so I thought I might as well do the video blog as soon as possible. A month has gone by already since I've come back here and it actually doesn't feel like quite that long, which is good because I've been insanely busy. I've been getting so little sleep because I'm working four jobs right now. Let's count them off. I am teaching, I'm tutoring, I am an office assistant for the creative writing program office, but then I'm a grad student. I can consider that another job, I think. And then, oh, let's see, I have some other job that I do. I'm trying to think of what it is. I can't quite remember. Oh, right. I'm a writer, theoretically. There's this whole thing where like I write books and then attempt to sell them to people. I actually love teaching. I, the first class I've ever taught is a section of fiction writing here to Notre Dame undergrads. They're mostly seniors, which means they are approximately two years younger than I am. They've been really respectful and great, and they're good writers and interesting people, and they have really insightful things to say about the stories I make them read. Teaching is amazing. You just get to talk about something you care about and teach it to people. If I could do that all the time, I would. If I could just talk to people about how awesome writing is and get them to also do it, that's what I would do with all of my time. But I can't and it gets really annoying when I just force that on people that I just meet in life. So, you know, this is a chance for me to rant about how awesome I think writing is and make people do it and there's nothing they can do about it because I'm their teacher. It's fantastic. I love it. Oh, but I was going to say the reason why I'm so excited about the crucifixes in all the classrooms at Notre Dame is because I was terrified of vampires as a child. I have to say I'm not exactly terrified of vampires anymore. That's your fault, Stephanie Meyer. Still nice to know that I'm protected from vampires by the crucifixes that sort of encrust every possible surface of Notre Dame. And also I do this whole thing where like when I'm stressed out, I pretend to be a vampire slayer. That's why dressing up as Faith from Buffy the Vampire Slayer was a natural choice for me for Comic-Con. So whenever I feel frustrated or overwhelmed by something, I take my hand and I pretend that I have a stake in it. And I carry my invisible stake around with me wherever I go and slay my personal demons. Makes me feel like a badass, which I am. So if you ever feel like you are overwhelmed by your unfortunate responsibilities, pretend they're demons, pretend they're vampires, take your invisible stake, stab them through the heart, will make you feel so much better. Or if not, then just laugh at me in my extreme nerdiness and hopefully that will make you feel better. Feel free to use my embarrassing stories for your own personal gain. That's what being a writer is all about. So yeah, I'm going back to New York City in less than a month to attend New York Comic Con, dressing in costume and going to hang out with my like fellow nerds at a giant convention where we'll get to hear about the new nerdy stuff on the horizon and I am so excited about that. I'm gonna hear panels and meet interesting people and hang out with comic book artists and writers and and actors and interesting New York people that I met this summer and adore. I've never been to a con before and I've never done cosplay before and it's going to be awesome. It's keeping my soul from dying knowing that it's out there essentially. Not that my soul would die, you know, I like to complain about Notre Dame and like mock things and talk about how much work I have to do and everything. The four jobs and the two books I'm working on and the being a grad student and everything. But I know I'm really lucky and I, I wanted to say that. It's fun to make fun of things and complain sometimes. But the thing is, I'm in a fully funded MFA program at a really good school and um, my writing is going really well and you know, my career is going really well so far. I, I, I feel very lucky to be able to do all the things that I'm doing. So I like to complain about it and there are plenty of things to complain about, but um, I don't want to sound ungrateful. I, I know how lucky I am. And like I said, there's so many things that are new this year that I haven't gotten to do before that I'm so glad I get to do. Teaching is beyond fantastic. And uh, having an agent, of course, is great. Sarah has been so wonderful so far. And um, I really look forward to being able to tell you more about both of those things uh, in the next video blog post, which will be from New York City. So until New York, faithful vlog watchers, I will 
see you soon. And for now, I'm going to sign off and get some sleep so maybe it doesn't look like I've been punched in the face next time. One can only hope.